Today, I present to you my documentary on the king of the eastern forest, the northern red oak. There are many different varieties of red oak trees, but in today's documentary, we are going to primarily focus on the king of the eastern forest, the northern red oak. The red oak tree species as a whole accounts for an astounding 30% of the eastern forest tree population. 10 to 15% of these red oak trees are none other than the northern red oak variety. The native range of these majestic trees stretches from the southern parts of Canada to the northern regions of Florida and extend as far west as Minnesota and Texas. The northern red oak is a fast growing tree species, growing at a rate of two feet a year. It is a medium sized to large tree that grows 60 to over 100 feet tall and two to three feet in diameter. The lifespan of the northern red oak is about 200 years. Some trees may live up to 500 years. Many animals rely on the northern red oak. The acorns are an important food source for squirrels, deer, turkey, mice, voles, and other mammals and birds. A variety of birds construct their nests in sturdy branches of northern red oak trees, while squirrels, bats, and woodpeckers may create dens or nests in the trees. Oaks are known to support hundreds of butterflies and moth species. Some Indian tribes used northern red oak bark for medicine to treat bronchitis infections as well as heart problems, and even used it as a disinfectant. Northern red oak acorns were also used as an important food source for Indians. The northern red oak is one of the most important oaks for timber production in North America. The wood is of high value. Construction uses include flooring, veneer, interior trim, furniture, railroad ties, and fence posts. The northern red oak hasn't always been the king of the eastern forest. That title used to belong to the American chestnut. When American chestnut blight hit in the early 1900s, it wiped out 4 billion American chestnut trees. The American chestnut used to take up 25% of the eastern forest. With the American chestnut being wiped out by chestnut blight, the northern red oak grew up in its place, taking the title King of the Eastern Forest. The northern red oak has been King of the Eastern Forest for over a century now. The northern red oak has gained more room to grow recently, with tens of millions of ash trees being killed out by the emerald ash borer. Sadly, a reoccurring theme is happening in the eastern forest. American chestnuts functionally extinct, ash trees functionally extinct, the butternut tree on its way towards extinction, the American elm tree, the list goes on and on. Sadly, the king of the eastern forest may be next. In 1944, oak wilt was discovered in Wisconsin. Since its discovery, it has killed tens of millions of oak trees. Oak wilt kills oak trees by obstructing their ability to carry water up the tree. Oak wilt spreads through root grafts as well as through insects. Trees in the white oak group have been found to be somewhat resistant, but the same can't be said for the red oak group. The northern red oak is one of the most susceptible to oak wilt. The trees die quickly, killing trees within weeks or months. Some fungicides have been found effective against oak wilt, but it's very costly to treat the trees. Oak wilt may be bad, but it's not expected to wipe out the northern red oak. I want to take your focus to a more mysterious disease that is killing red oak trees all throughout Pennsylvania. I believe this one could be the one that turns into a pandemic, like the chestnut blade. Here's some pictures of some red oak trees on our property here in Pennsylvania. As you can see, whatever they are being affected by is causing these oozing spots on the tree. We have many trees in the red oak group that were perfectly healthy two years ago that are now dead. I'm estimating it takes about two years to kill a tree with whatever this is. The tree has massive dieback in the crown. Then the next year, it's dead. If you want to learn more about the red oak tree suffering on our property, I will link the video in the description below. I had a forest ranger come out and look. He told me it was normal and that they see this all the time, but he couldn't tell me exactly what was causing it. He told me the drought can cause trees to be stressed, causing them to be weak, allowing them to be attacked by fungal infections. For example, here in western Pennsylvania, we have been experiencing a drought in the summers, getting very little rain, and when it does rain, it just sprinkles. 
When you're going three weeks to a month period in the hot summer without rain, it's going to cause stress on the trees, weakening them and opening them up to attacks. Question is, what is this mysterious fungal infection and will it wipe out the northern red oak as well as the rest of the red oak group? He told me these fungal infections don't go away and that the trees can live a long time with it. Although this particular fungal infection, whatever it is, the trees are being killed rather quickly. Drought equals stress, which equals infection, which equals death. To attempt to stop this fungal infection, I bought a gallon of propiconazole, which is used for fighting sudden oak death and oak wilt. I'm curious to see if it had any impact on stopping the fungal infections. Sadly, a gallon of this stuff is around 100 bucks. If it does the trick, I will figure out how to buy more of it. I treated a few trees this year, or last year, so we'll see how they're doing this year when the leaves finally come out. Hopefully the king of the forest, the northern red oak, will stay the king of the forest until the American chestnut is brought back. The future of the northern red oak and the red oak group in general may be cloudy, but we just have to hope for the best. Thank you guys for watching my documentary on the king of the eastern forest, the northern red oak. Fun fact, the northern red oak is my favorite tree, and with this situation going on with our red oak trees, I thought it would be a good time to make this documentary. Once again, if you want to watch the videos of our red oak trees on our property, the link will be in the description below. That video, will, I, will go, I go over looking at the trees and what's happening and just showing you guys the situation. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are only 150 watch hours away from monetization. Go watch some of my other videos. Let's hit the finish line. Let's get monetized. And that's really about all I got to say. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more content. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later.